What's up guys, Ryan here from Dark Deli and today I'm reviewing a microphone that I've been sent to test and I will say in advance, pretty good. If it wasn't good, I wouldn't be showing it on my channel. Today we're talking about the VQ VM30. Now I'm gonna show you a lot about this mic. Right now I'm just kind of showing you some pictures off Amazon and I'll show you where you can purchase it. There will be a link to purchase this mic in the description below. There's a lot of things I'm going to tell you about this mic and a lot of shocking things too that are going to really impress you as they impressed me when I received this mic. Now, full disclosure, Vigu sent me this mic for free to test. Okay. That said, I'm not nor have I ever been biased against any product ever sent to me. I review things as I see fit. I have been sent products that I refuse to review because they were not good enough. This is good enough and this video is going to show you exactly why and how first of all um well you'll see from the link um in the description below this might cost about 30 dollars us which and you'll see later in the video later in the video right now i'm just showing you images off amazon and i'll explain these images and what i'm showing you later here in a second in the video i'll be um talking on my other microphone my previous microphone as i take this one apart and show you all these parts that it's showing you and you'll see the quality is about the same this might cost 30 dollars. the microphone that i have been using costs about six times as much somehow this company has managed to produce okay so yeah something much smaller more lightweight and just as sufficient and let me tell you why okay so we've hovered enough around this so here we have a small compact mic you can see the mesh uh stuff oh, okay I'm, I'm not a real super like linguist about um audio yeah i'm not a super audio file but you can see the the mesh on the microphone we have a removable pop filter right here yeah it pops off i'll show you when we get to the uh I'm going to break mine down. I'll be using my other mic. I'll break it down. You'll hear my voice should sound exactly. It should sound the same. Yeah, that's how good this mic is. I was actually really impressed. It slides into this. Here we have a uh, shock mount, which is basically, mm, I keep uh, like going back to the term rubber bands. I don't want to use that. They're not rubber bands because it sounds cheap, but they're made of rubber. They're like rubber shock mounts and they're on the, you can see them mounted right there there right above and below yeah in two different places they grip the mic and it, it shock mounts it that said as like for instance right now actually i have the mic sitting on a piece of cloth just to further dampen you know any shock you know vibration and then here we have the tripod now at first okay which is you can see right here i'm zooming in on it right here on amazon i'm just showing you amazon footage and then i'll show you real footage of me actually taking this i'm actually going to pull this thing apart and show it to you okay guys yeah you're like oh that's hollow plastic you know and yeah yes this entire thing is made out of plastic except for like some of the fixtures and the middle screening over the uh actual like can condenser whatever aside from that it's all plastic yeah the microphone that i have been using for like the last two years is all steel steel's better right well steel's heavier and bulkier what i'm gonna say i'm gonna tell you guys right now i'm gonna do something a lot of other youtubers don't do i'm gonna skip to the end and tell you what i rate this at i'm rating this a four out of five I would, if I could, rate it a 4.9 out of 5, but I'm rating it a 4 out of 5. So I'm skipping to the end of the video. Now I want you to find out why I'm rating it so high. First of all, I never rate anything 5 out of 5, because that implies perfection, and nothing is perfect. If I could rate 4.9 on Amazon, I would, but I'm rating it a 4. Because there's just a couple small ticks in this. And we're going to get to that when I show it to you, but I guarantee you that none of it has to do with the way it performs. It performs perfectly and it folds up quicker and smaller. As you can see right here, here we have the cord. Oh, the cord is perfection. We'll talk about the cord. I'll show you that when we get to the, the camera part. Here's, see, it all comes apart. This pops apart literally in seconds. 
here's the tripod literally all of this just falls apart in your hands like worm butter it just falls apart in your hands because it's all made of plastic I'm actually using this in place of my old studio mic that I was using that cost six times the price because this is it has the same sound quality and it's smaller and lighter yeah here's the box it comes in it comes in a box that like the presentation let's admit it guys presentation does matter and the box this thing came in it was like i was opening a case to a new you know um galaxy phone you know a new a new android phone I'm like opening the box and it's all pressed in the styrofoam in the box it's the, the boxing was done very well it comes pre-assembled except for actually it comes completely pre-assembled because as you'll see when i actually disassemble this thing um, it folds up quicker than, um, well, it folds up pretty quick, right? To avoid any connotations I was about to make, let's just say it folds up pretty quick, okay? We're about to show you the VQ VM30. Now, this is the mic that you've heard me speaking through for the last couple minutes. And as advertised, okay, so let's hit this up before we start taking it apart. No latency monitoring monitoring so okay this thing is this is no frills it's got as you can see right here if you look at the front of the mic it's got a mute button very simple nice mute button right there and then here on the bottom again no frills it's got a USB-C connector but don't worry it also has a regular USB it's got a USB-C connector and a headphone yep no latency monitoring and attest to that as I'm currently using the mic right now it's a 3.5 millimeter jack with no latency monitoring with the headset i'm using just pick your favorite 3.5 millimeter jack headset and plug it in i'm not recommending any other brands in this video but i'll say i've got my setup and it works excellent these are the only knobs you need my other microphone has a lot of other knobbies on it that don't seem to do anything and honestly i've not touched them in like two years these are the only knobs that matter volume okay is the only knob and then well the mute down there on the mic and then yeah this has a USB-C input but it also it branches off to USB we'll get to that when I show it to you and no latency monitoring that's very important for anyone who records you need zero millisecond latency monitoring very important there you go the volume control could the volume control could be better mounted. There are some things I'm going to uh, say about this this microphone that are not the best. Well, yeah, I don't rate it a perfect five out of five. I'm rating it a four out of five. The volume control, under certain conditions, the volume control under certain conditions can be hard to reach with your thumb and can disposition the microphone within the shock mount setting. And I'll show you that, okay? so too can this one button mute this is essential but it's great you can see it um right here now right now i'm showing you amazon pictures let's go ahead and show you the real microphone i'm going to show you you can already hear how it performs this is the great part by the way guys this is the great part about doing a microphone review is that you can hear my voice now what we're going to do is i'm going to take this thing apart show you one video yeah my crappy <laughs> don't judge my video okay guys my video camera ain't the best don't judge my video camera listen to the sound i'll be using a different my, my regular microphone i used to use and you'll hear studio sound from a 30 dollar mic which i never thought in my life that i would hear okay so now i have the i have disconnected it and now i'm using my regular mic which should sound right about the same and again as i said it costs about six times as much but yeah that's how good that Right here, we have disconnected the VQ VM30 microphone. I'm going to show you everything about it. Now, here is the underneath. Now, right here, we have, I'll show you the USB. Here is the microphone, uh, sorry, the headset monitor, which I don't have plugged in because I'm currently using it on the headset I'm speaking to you on. Don't worry about it. Yeah, any 3.5 millimeter headset jack work in there. And then here underneath, there's a couple of weak spots in this microphone. Don't get me wrong. I'm not rating this perfect. It's not the perfect microphone. One reason is because when it's sitting upright, you have to reach under it 
to reach this, it's kind of, it depends. And I'll get to the, uh, the shock mounting. You see the shock mounting? It kind of depends how it's sitting in this. And I'll show you that in a second as to how easy this volume knob is to reach or not. Okay. That also does go for the, uh, and I'm sorry for the lighting and the bad camera. I usually, I do video game footage. I don't usually do real camera footage. You can see right here, part of the mute button. This is the mute button right here is part of it is obscured by the frame. That's because the microphone has slightly slid upwards. Let's see if we can push it back down through the shock mounting and I'll go through that in a second. We'll take this whole thing apart, okay? Now this is the USB cord right here that goes to your computer. Sorry. Yeah, my other mic. Yeah, my other mic likes to. Uh, this is one reason I'm actually preferring this over my uh, other mic. Is that one is made out of stainless steel and it's heavy. It weighs like five pounds. It likes to fall down on me. This thing weighs like I don't know six ounces. This thing weighs like nothing. See, you know, I can sit here and balance it on my thumb. This thing weighs nothing. Now. Okay, so let's look at the cord. So here's the cord that actually hooks it to your computer. Now, likely throughout this video, you're gonna hear some, at least I hear it, uh, USB compression sound. That's because both of the mics I'm speaking to you through are USB mics. I do use USB mics, okay? So there's gonna be a bit of compression sound there. You're gonna hear that. Well, anyway, here's the USB cord. Now, on this end, try to point towards the camera. There we go. On this end here that plugs into the mic, we have a USB-C connector that plugs into the mic. Okay, now we have about a, a two meter long cord which plugs into your computer. And I should mention this works on uh, PC, PS4, PS5, and Xbox. This works on all platforms. It has a regular USB and it branches off so you can connect it if you if you look at my thing here you see this is better than the amazon pictures because this is actually me showing it to you the cord branches off so when you connect it you can connect either via usb or usb c so you can use this on a phone or xbox ps4 ps5 whatever it works on all platforms this end this end has usb c and regular usb the end that plugs into the microphone. Again, this is a two meter long cord. Let's pull this out. This is the end that plugs into the microphone right here. And it's a USB-C. Now, there's a lot of beautiful things about this microphone and there's things I don't like. There's a couple things I don't like. That's why I'm not rating it a perfect five because nothing's a perfect five. But one thing that's great about this microphone, it's super lightweight. For instance, the microphone I'm speaking through, you know, to now sorry is the one i've been using which really to me sounds the same as this one but it's three times as the cost and three times the weight i have to be very careful because it might flop over on me again because it's all made out of aluminum this is all plastic now watch how easily this folds up so it sits on your desktop just like this it's got a pop filter with it my regular mic doesn't have that it's got a nice pop filter which pops on or off Haha, uh -huh, no pun intended, but for real, you can take this entire mic fully assembled with one motion. You can collapse the tripod, fold it in half, and my pop filter actually fell off. That was a faux pas on my part. But anyway, um, and you can fold it in half. Now, all of this comes apart. Okay. Let me, and yeah, the tripod, but you can, you can literally, you can fold it in half. What I'm saying is you can fold this thing in half and it takes this much space in your backpack or whatever. Cause trust me, I've done, um, traveling. Yeah. Like traveling, you know, to different cities on the airplane or whatever, and had to stuff my, all my computer equipment in my back in my backpack. And this goes really easily. It's already, already coming apart. So I'll just pull it apart. It, this all pulls it apart really easily um this screws off the uh tripod screws off here let's take this all apart okay just like the amazon pictures just like it showed 
Um, here's all the shock mounting. I, 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 I don't want to say rubber bands because they're not rubber bands, but they are. But you know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. So here's the mount for it. And then here we have the tripod. Sorry for my camera quality, guys. I do game footage, not camera footage. So my camera is not the best. Um, here's the tripod that it mounts on. And the best part about it, actually, I like the fact it's all plastic because it weighs like seriously three ounces. And with one motion, it collapses and folds up inside your, your, your thing. It takes no space. And with one motion, it expands back into a tripod. And it sits down however you want it to sit down. I actually think that's really good. I'm going to show you some negatives. There are some negatives to this, okay? Hang on. So we got the shock mounting here, which screws onto this. We got the pop filter, which kind of came off. The pop filter is... I can't say I've noticed any real difference with this versus uh, the microphone I have, which doesn't have one, but fair enough. So let's put this back together as good as I can in camera. So we have the tripod. Let's go ahead and what we want to do is we want to screw it into the uh, the shock mounting. It's really simple. You just here it'd be easier if I collapse the tripod. See how easy see how easy it is to collapse, and we just screw this back in. Screw it back in like so. There, it's screwed in nice and tight enough. It's all plastic, so don't screw it in too tight, guys. It's all plastic. And then, boom, it expands just like that. Now, there is an issue with it. Not an issue, just a thing, a thingy thing. Okay, so the microphone itself. See, here's the microphone itself. It fits loosely. Well, not loosely, but it fits unfettered, you could say. Hang on. Inside, you want to make sure it goes through the shock mounts. Nice and well and good. And you want to make sure the, that the, uh, especially this not this button right here, the mute button, you want to make sure that's visible. So you want to slide down. Now that's the one drawback to this that I can say. So as you can see how easy it was to slide this back into place. But as it's, see, as it shocks up and down, as you bump it or notch it, it the volume knob sometimes, the mute knob sometimes ends up like up here for me and I end up having to reach up under this. That said, it's the same with the volume knob. I end up having to reach under here. It's the only reason I read this down is because I'm going to pull this back apart. With this, what they could have done, here's what they could have done. See, there's no, uh, there's no edge for the rubber bands. Well, it's called rubber bands. You know what I'm talking about. There's no edge for them to rest on. If there was an edge for them to rest on, there'd be a stop. But there's no stop. See, you, you just slide it through here like so. So sometimes the knob may be here and you have to reach up under this. And sometimes if you, yeah, see, but it should sit like this. It's the only drawback to this mic. The sound quality is excellent. The pop filter literally just slides in like that. Now, usually the way I tell if my mic is riding too high or too low on the rubber bands, as I call them, so you can see it's riding too high because my mute button's a little hard to push, so I'll push down on the mic. That's why I think they might want a ridge or something on here as a stop for the rubber bands, as I call them, or something, because sometimes I have to reach up for it. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. So here you can see it as it is, just as it's shown on Amazon. All right. And, uh, yeah, the USB-C, I mean, this thing is like super easy again. And then also you have a, uh, other side, you're right here. You have a little knobby, you have a little knobby right here and you can loosen this and this adjusts the, uh, yeah. So you can just, and fold this thing in half, stick it right in your, uh, travel bag and stuff it you know in your backpack and overhead compartment when you're flying overseas or doing whatever you're doing or whatever and then well because that has been a concern for me actually before um in airplanes yeah trying to steal my um audio video equipment and this makes it super easy because even even with that tight you can still just force snap it and this thing's really tough Aside being from being made entirely like from plastic, this thing is really tough. I would not be showing you this, guys, 
if it wasn't tough. All right, let's cut back to uh, this mic. I'm going to plug this mic back in. We're going to continue the video. All right, guys. So I guess there's my summary on the review of the VU VM30 microphone. You can see how, yeah, like right here in this picture. Again, I'm just hovering over Amazon. I'm again using um, the VM30. You can see it can plug in via either USB-C or USB-A ports, depending on, you know, so pff, laptops, phones, w whatever, USB-C seems to be becoming more universal. The only uh, flaws I mentioned were w what I showed is I'm just showing Amazon footage right now because as you saw, my camera footage is pretty crappy. That's okay. Um, I normally do uh, on-screen footage. Um, if the mic is sitting too low in the, uh, I call them the ru rubber bands. They're not rubber bands. I just want to enforce that. It's rubber shock mounting. They're really thick and reinforced. But if it's sitting too low, too high in those, that mute button there can be too hard to reach. And so too can the volume knob underneath. Uh, so just, that's the only drawback. But as I mentioned earlier, when I was talking on the other mic, and I, I, I use the other mic for comparison, so you can hear that the mic quality on this $30 microphone is basically the same as, if not better, than the audio quality of a microphone that costs six times the price, you know? It does. And I was actually on a flight where I was trying to stow my audio video equipment in my backpack under my seat on the airplane and it wouldn't all fit. And I actually got in, well, not in like an altercation, but I kind of got in a conversation with the flight attendant as to what could fit in my backpack. And I had to move some stuff out. This easily folds up. I, I'm saying this to those of you who like record travel with your recording equipment and such this folds up and will fit into a side pocket of a backpack easily whereas my other equipment did not is what i'm saying this folds up fits easily but this volume control can be hard to reach if it slips out of the rubber mounted shot control so too can this one button mute uh, just uh, keep it mounted on your desk on the tripod. This handy, this beautiful tripod. You saw me fold it and unfold it many times. It works friggin' great. Um, make sure, um, what I do is see the pop filter in the mic. Just make sure the pop filter basically covers the mic. You know, the mic's low enough. If it, if, if the mic pops up too high, just pop, just push it down a bit. Uh, Vigu, one thing you guys could do is like put some like stops in there like some kind of like stop to stop the mount so like it kind of sits in one place something to seat the rubber mounting in one place kind of so it doesn't slide up and down it doesn't slide up and down a lot guys okay i'm just saying because i'm incredibly abusive to all my electronics look when i review something and i give it a good review if i give something a good review that means it's good okay and i'm gonna pick it apart and I'm going to tell the manufacturer one thing they could do better. And that's why I'm reading this four out of five stars. It's way out of its price range. It's freaking incredible for its price range. One thing they could do better is right here on the mic. See that smooth taper on the mic? They can make it so it fits better with those shock mounts right there. One thing they can improve. Uh, that would make the mute button right there. And the volume control underneath more reachable because sometimes for me it slides out of range, but it's really not a big deal. Literally, if I could rate this a 4.9 out of 5, I would, but I only have the ability to rate 4 to 5 stars. So I'm rating this 4 to 5 stars. Guys, again, a link to this product is in the description. I'm sorry this video took so long, but this really is an incredible mic. I would not endorse it if it wasn't the next time. Well, actually, I'm using it right now, and this is what I prefer to use. My old, the other studio mic I was using is sitting under my coffee table. I'm using this because it's lighter, easier to move around. That said, lighter does come with disadvantages. It flops over easier, but it rotates on that tripod. Make sure the tripod is pointing, you know, so that it won't flip over on you. That said, uh, if you travel a lot like I do, it's so quick as you saw in the video to just flip and fold in half i'm gonna say if you're looking for if you're entering into youtube and vlogging video gaming yeah because i've used i've tested this out in uh multiplayer video gaming audio recording 
chatting online, recording online. If you're in any of those things and you're just looking to break into it for $30, you're getting basically like a $200 microphone for $30 right here. And I won't bullshit you guys. I never will, never have. I wouldn't be posting this video otherwise. Guys, view VM30, link in the description, check it out. I'm reading it four out of five stars. That's all. That's it for me today, guys. Check this mic out. And I hope to hear from these guys in the future because they make an awesome product right here. I like, I'd like to see some other stuff they can do. All right, guys. I'm Ryan from Dark Dally. Tell me what you think in the comments below. Hit like if you like the video. Definitely subscribe to the channel because there's always more stuff coming at some point. Tell me what you want to see. And if you don't like the video, hit dislike. And if you do hit dislike, tell me why you hit dislike. Tell me why you don't like the video. But mostly hit like and subscribe and tell me why you do like the video. Guys, I love you all. I'm Dark Deli. I'll catch you all next time.